If you are new to graphic design and color draw, please watch this video to the very end. Welcome back to my channel guys. Um, in today's video, we'll be learning how to draw some basic shapes in color draw. Alright, this is a beginner's class. Right about that, let's jump straight to the video. For those of you who don't watch the first beginner's class, be, please go and watch that um, video before coming to watch this video. All right. Um, in that video, you're going to learn how to, you know, you're going to learn the basic tools in Corel Draw and um, most of the bars. And uh, I've, I've explained all the basic things over there in that video. So in this video, I'll show you guys how to create some basic shapes in Corel Draw. So right about that, um, like I told you guys, here is our property bar. All right. And um, under the property bar, we'll have a lot. We'll have the page size, page dimension, portrait landscape, which is the orientation. Then we'll have the units. So we're going to change this to landscape. All right. So now um, I'm going to draw some basic shape, which you normally see in your day-to-day -day designs. All right. You guys might be familiar with all this. And you might be wondering how this um shapes are being created all right so right about that i'm going to draw something i'm going to use uh, instagram logo as a case study i'm going to show you how instagram logo was created all right so we're going to use our basic day-to-day -to -day tools over here to create an instagram logo all right so right about that let's jump straight to the video so now guys to draw that Remember, I've taught you guys all these tools. All right, so we're going to use these tools to create it. So I'm going to select my rect angle tool. I taught you what rect angle tool is used for. All right, so like I said, if you don't understand everything, go and watch the first beginner's class. So click on this rect angle tool and uh, draw this way. And this is basically what you're going to have, guys. So right about that, what you're going to do now is select your shape tool, right? First of all, this is before you select your shape to these are called anchor points. All right. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight are called anchor points. All right. So once you select your shape to, this is going to change to a node. All these four dotted line and uh, dotted um, points you're seeing here are called not. So you can use your shape to to draw this way. All right. That's to change it to a round corner shape. All right. So right about that, you're gonna use your pick tool to drop this two. All right. So what you're gonna do now is convert to this two. That is label contour two. All right. So if you come to color draw, right, you will see this um, point. There's a point on this um, on these tools. This point is tell, trying to tell you that there are other tools inside a particular tool. Once you see this arrow pointing, that means it's a tool inside. There are more tools inside. All right. So once you point to it, it will bring out other tools just as this. It will bring out other tools. So now select your contour tool. All right and draw this way all right this is what you're going to have then drop your contour tool using your pick tool then right click on this box once you right click on this box you're going to see break contour apart all right so once you click on it it means this one is going on the separate this one is going on its own separate way so now you can highlight everything, right? Or you can still leave it the way it is. Now select your contour tool again and um, draw this way. Then drop it using your pick tool. Now highlight this one. So if you want to highlight, basically click outside and drag this way, selecting the uh, exact points you want to highlight. So once you highlight it this way, it's going to highlight that specific object which you want to highlight, all right? Now, 
you're going to um, right click on this one again and select break contour apart now i'm not going to show you guys um, um shortcuts all right i'm not going to use shortcut for you guys in this video so i'm going to just go straight to the point all right about that i'm going to select my ellipse tool ellipse tool simply means the round tool that is here this round stuff you're seeing here it's called the ellipse tool all right um you're gonna just draw this way right if you want to get a perfect cycle guys if you draw this way you see you won't have a perfect cycle this is not a perfect cycle right so if you want to have a perfect cycle when you're drawing when you're drawing the cycle hold control control key or command key on your keyboard control key all right before you draw now this is what you are going to you're going to have guys so the next thing we're going to do is select our contour tool again bring this one this way all right so once you do that highlight it as you can see this time i'm not highlighting everything here i'm highlighting from here just to select this one then i'm going to select and right click and select break contour apart again so this one on its own this one on its own now right about that what you're going to do is you're going to bring in this one and uh okay this one i've not all right so i want to show you guys something so i'm going to select my ellipse tool again come over to this place and draw this dots over here now this is what you're going to have so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply colors to this all right now this is how to apply color to it so first of all we're going to start with the black all right so i'm going to just select this one give it this color all right so once i do that as you can see this one is actually on a few is filling up the whole of this place so select this first one hold your shift to shift on your keyboard there's a key written shift all right once you select it come about to this property bar and select trim so once you trim it you will see you have an empty space here so you can delete this one then you're going to do the same to this select the the word the cycle that's inside then select shift hold shift on your keyboard shift key then select this one that's the second line then go to trim so trim actually means to cut out so we want to cut out this this is actually now if i give it this color you see it is it will fill out this piece so i want to cut out some parts from there by highlighting this and coming to trim so once you trim it if you delete this one you can see it has cut out some parts so if i give it this color now you can see that now if i give this one this color you can see now i can give this one this color now what i get what i what i guys seeing you're seeing an instagram logo all right so i'm going to just basically um you can see we have some black black outline here so to remove that black outline always remove it in your designing anything you're designing make sure there's no outline depending on what you're actually trying to achieve all right now to do that right click on this uh, um thumbnail over here and it will take itself out now you can see we have our black and white instagram logo you can actually um, duplicate this and add the perfect color for instagram logo all right you can add the perfect color which is um which is this um i think this is this is the instagram not this one actually yeah i think instagram has um is reddish kind of i don't know if it's this red i don't know but it has kind of orange kind of is it purple or yeah i think so somewhere here let me see all right so i'm getting it now 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 i think it's around here so something like this so you can highlight this one and give it white okay so 
This is basically how to create this Instagram icon in Corel Draw. This is for beginners. All right. So now I'm going to show you guys how to create another shape in Corel Draw. Now, this is number one. Now I'm going to just reduce this and place it over here. Now, how to create a star in Corel Draw. All right. So now, if you look at some of my designs, you will see that sometimes I use something like this. Um, heaven, Heaven's New West Star. All right. So now, if you look at in that design, I use stars to like five stars to, um, to depict all right, the star over here. Like somebody who is, let's say, a prominent person or this kind of thing, you understand? So to create a star, and I told you guys in my beginner's class, in my other beginner's class, the part one, which this is the part two, I told you guys that all these tools work hand in hand, all right? So we're going to use a polygon tool to create a star. Right about that, select your polygon tool, draw this way. Let's give it an outline so we can see. Now... I told you guys that every prop, every tools here have its own property. Every tool in Corel Draw have its own property. Now, this is the property of this polygon tool. If I select my ellipse to watch over here, just watch this. If I select my ellipse to something changed here. Select my polygon to something changed here. Select my text to something changed here. Select my uh, contour to something I've changed here. So as you can see, everything have their own property. So. We'll come back to this our own property. You can actually do this. You can see. Okay, add, remove, add. You see. So now, guys, we are making use of this one to create the star. All right. So make sure your points are five. All right. They are five. One, two, three, four, five. Now select your shape two. Like I told you, they all work hand in hand. They use. You can. You can use polygon two and use shape two to help polygon two to achieve something. It's very simple. Now you can see this node. I told you they are called node. This this stuff you're seeing here, this stuff you're seeing here, they are called node. So if you drag this one this way, you have gotten a star. You can see there's no star here, but we have gotten a star. Now I can reduce this one and bring this one here. Duplicate it using Control plus R. You can see now you can actually reduce it and um, place it just right here or you can actually do it this way all right or you can leave it this way you can give it this color you can see now i've created a star now i'm going to show you another another stuff that i want to create now select your Rectangle to draw a box just right here. So once you draw this box, all right, let me give it an outline so we can see. Now, right click on it, sorry, left click on it again, double click on it, one, two, one, two. Once you double click on it, you see the anchor point are changing. Now select this one, the point here, and drag this one down here. Once you do that, select this one, hold your shift, drag this over here you can basically reduce it this way and once you do that you can see we have this shape now you can actually bring your rectangle to draw a shape over here drag another one here all right then right click on it and select convert to curve i told you guys in my beginners class in the part one if you convert anything to curve it's now an object it's now an object now, if you convert it to curve, now let me show you for an example. I've select this shape shape to now. You can see the node is black. Now convert it to curve and see. Convert to curve, it has changed to this. You can see? Now you can actually, if you want to add a node, I told you guys, double click on this, bring this one here. You can bring this, delete this one. Now you can see what we've got. Now I can basically do this this way, or do this this way. Now look at the box we've created. We've created what? This is called a cube. 
it's called what a cube you can actually add colors to it you can add this color then you can actually add uh, let's see which color can go with this this can go now let's give this one let's say yellow as you can see guys you can remove the outline now you can see now you can actually create a pattern with this now let's create a pattern and see see you see and you can let's just do this you can see i've created a pattern now you can actually duplicate this one bring it here you see you see now we've created pattern just use your control plus r to duplicate it now as you can see we've created a pattern doesn't this look pretty like you can actually use it for your designs you know these are called pattern now you've created a pattern you can use it for your wallpaper everything any design so guys i'm going to stop here so in our next video i'm going to show you how to blend backgrounds in corner draw as a beginner if you love this video please share comment if you have any question please drop me a thumbs up and share this video invite your friends to this channel because they're gonna learn a lot see you guys in my next video.